I'm Jenny Day, Brandon there from home on this Friday evening. Certainly hope you are doing well. Well, with less than a week before he takes the oath of office, President-elect Joe Biden is speaking out about the economy and the fight against COVID. While he's looking for the challenges ahead, more disturbing news about last week's attack on the Capitol and the prospect of a Senate impeachment trial of the current president is casting a shadow over our nation's capital. Alice Barr starts us off tonight. In just five days, Joseph R. Biden will be sworn in as the 46th president of the United States. Amid the monumental task of securing the inauguration, Biden is already rolling out his plans to address the nation's urgent needs. We have to act, and we have to act now. The president-elect today revealing his blueprint to dramatically ramp up vaccine distribution. He's also proposing a detailed $1.9 trillion emergency COVID relief package that includes boosting direct payments to Americans and doubling the federal minimum wage. In this pandemic, in America, we cannot let people go hungry. We cannot let people get evicted. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi backing Biden's priorities. He is delivering on what he said when he was elected. Help is on the way. Meanwhile, as federal prosecutors allege some of the rioters attacking the Capitol last week intended to capture and assassinate elected officials, Speaker Pelosi is calling for a sweeping investigation. She's also weighing when to send the article of impeachment against President Trump to the Senate to begin a trial. The president out of sight again today, but as his staffers were seen moving out, word that behind the scenes Vice President Mike Pence is filling the leadership void to assist the incoming administration. And that incoming administration hopes the Senate impeachment trial won't bog down attempts to get approval on cabinet nominees and other urgent business. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. And new tonight, Arizona Governor Doug Ducey saying that President Trump bears some responsibility for the attack on Capitol Hill, but added that he does not support impeachment. The governor said the focus should be on calming tensions, not retribution, adding in just five days, we're going to have a peaceful transition of power. I think people want to move forward, end quote. Ducey announced just yesterday he will be at the inauguration of President-elect Biden. Speaking of, President Trump has not congratulated President-elect Biden, but the vice president did call Kamala Harris last night. In their first conversation since the debate, Mike Pence congratulated her and offered his belated assistance. Vice President Pence does plan to attend the inauguration. The president, however, does not. Well, the Arizona Department of Health Services says more vaccines are on the way across the state. More shipments expected as early as next week. 